Are you ready for the trip? My love. Yes, my love. I'm ready. I don't understand what taking these kids so long. I told them just to pack a few clothes, but look now. They want to pack a lot of clothes for the trip. Kids, come on, let's go. We're just waiting for you guys. These kids. Shoo. My love, just go and call your kids. Otherwise, we will be waiting for them here forever. Okay, love. Coming. What's taking you so long? Sorry, Dad. We were still packing. Where's your brother? He's still not yet here. And time's going? Oh, there they are coming. Finally, we can get going. Ernesto, you took forever just to pack. Let us get going now. Ernesto, just move on the side so your sister can join you sit at the back. Joyce, join your brother at the back seat. Your mom seating here in front. Okay, Dad. Let me move aside for Joyce before she come and claim the whole seat as she always does. Move more, Ernesto. You taking the whole seat. Guys, can you two stop fighting at the back there? I can't wait to be in a new area for getting all about work and the new boss stress. <laughs> Days are moving fast, my love. You will face him indeed. Anyway, it's a good idea. Taking a break and going for a holiday. After all the challenge you are facing at your workplace, you can now clear your mind. Plus, the kids finally will spend time with you. That's true, my love. Both Marie, Jack and their children died immediately. And few hours later, the bad news immediately spread to Sorry Kathy's for your ears. laws. Doctor, doctor. The reception informed me that you were the relatives of the patients that was brought here early. It was a big tragedy. Doctor, can I see them? Why, Sister Marie? Why? You got too soon. After the burial ceremony, Sister Marie family decided to sell all the properties she had. Kathy, you have been staying with our Sister Marie for years. We know all and we are aware of the strong relationship you had with her. As her family, we decided to sell this house and everything that our sister had. We will give you two to three months to find yourself a place to stay. I hope you will respect our decision that we made. Yes, Kathy. That's the decision we as a family decide to do. We just wish you all the best for the future. You and your daughter. Yes, Auntie. Uncle, I understand. There is no need for me to remain here anymore. I respect your decision before the due date. I will make sure to find myself a suitable place to stay. Thank you for giving me time to prepare myself. It's okay, Kathy. We all going through a rough time at the moment. All we can do now is just to move on with our lives. Three months later. What can we do now? I think you must leave me to handle everything. She promised to find herself another place to go. We gave her three months and her time is up. It's now another two weeks. She is still there. I think, brother, you've been too soft to her. She start taking advantage of your personality. Tomorrow morning, I have to go there myself with my boys. In case, she resists to move out. There is no need for you to come along with me. You are too soft towards that girl. I will sort things out with her. Okay, but no need to be violence. 
Just speak to her calmly. And just keep me posted. Oh, good morning, Aunt. Morning, Kathy. I hope you already packed everything. I'm here to collect the keys. We have people who already brought this house. They coming in the city in few days, the house need to be empty from now on. My boys are standing outside in case you need help with your belongings. This house need a deep cleaning. Hum. Sorry auntie. I didn't get myself a place yet. Nobody want to accommodate me because I have a baby. I don't have any capital with me. If you can at least give me few more days, I promise I will leave. No Kathy. I have no choice than to get you go by now on. My boys are outside don't make things hard. You will leave me with no choice. <laughs> Where I'm gonna go Andy? <laughs> I have no place to go. Please don't do this to my baby and I. <laughs>